Now, the electricity grid, unfortunately, is not the answer. Um, and some of John's points are completely right. There's huge undercapacity. Uh, one development that um, uh, we've been working with uh, asked for 300 megawatts, so quite modest by some of these gigawatt scale uh, requirements. And they've been told by National Grid not until 2033. Well, the whole AI revolution sort of gone and moved on by then. Uh, John's quite right. The rising needs of transport like electric vehicles and home heating and heat pumps and all this sort of stuff is already straining the grid, uh, which we need about double capacity between now and 2050 to deal with the non-digital requirements of the grid. So we really can't turn to the grid. Uh, pure intermittents just don't work uh, with data centers because you need the continuous uh, energy and energy storage costs are still very stubbornly high. In the medium to long term, I'm a great advocate of low cost nuclear. I worked at Rolls Royce and in fact span out the small modular reactor program from Rolls Royce. Uh, and there are some great designs, viable designs from Rolls Royce and others. Um, but I'm the first to admit that these will not be available in quantity, um, probably until the end of next decade. 